welcome back to another Split Hour Farm unboxing followed by a review. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing a few different solar lights and these are just different options that we are going to be trying out so that we can prepare for our wedding which is coming up in 30 days. So hopefully one of these is going to fit the bill. Um, they're low cost uh, solar which is also additionally low cost after the initial investment and uh, hopefully they're going to work for us. So one thing that all of these have in common is their solar. So if you're off grid, if you don't have the electricity to be able to connect something for power of light, um, then you can just use these where you don't have to worry about plugging it in. The sun's shining, you have your lights. At the lowest price point of the four, this solar light string is coming in at $24. You got your post so you can plug it into the ground and have that shining bright. And then you have your remote with all the different settings. So there are eight different settings for this, and uh, that's gonna vary based on how, how many um, lights are gonna be performing inside, how long it's gonna be, what the brightness is, all that stuff. Out of the gate, this is a very easy setup. You have your solar device. It has the connection port. All right, so now we're connected. And essentially, once this has a little solar power, it'll work. Uh, or at least we hope so and if, if it doesn't we're gonna surely keep you posted tomorrow after a full day of sunlight I will go back through and pull each of these out just to see what the actual light contents gonna be stay to the end of the video to see which one of these actually work next up in the price range is $25 so not far off and this is gonna be the solar landscaping lights and this is gonna be for pathways it has 40 uh, LED lights inside and we will see if it shines bright. But this too comes with a post, as they all will. It comes with a lifetime warranty, which that's pretty cool. And by registering for the lifetime warranty, you can actually scan and get a possible chance at a $30 gift card, um, which will actually pay for the light and be $5 profit. Here they are, um, and what is going to happen here is this ball joint goes inside here once I unscrew it with I believe it came with a screwdriver it did so the USB charges for a warm-up tip apparently it says that before the first use you should charge it for at least a, a day under the Sun or you can use a USB charger for a day or two before the first use I'm just gonna put it in the Sun because that's the whole point of this is that it's a solar powered light We'll see what happens with the solar power. I'm not charging this thing every time. No way. All right. So those are two. First object being $24. The second light, pathway light, being $24. How they perform, stay tuned. We'll show you at the end. This is another pathway light. And again, a bunch of those. What else would you expect? These are much different looking. It comes with positives and negatives. So compared to this other one right here, right? So it's on a ball joint. So you can move it left and right, up and down. You know, nothing crazy. This being in the ground is going to dictate the fact that this can go in any direction around. This one, on the other hand, is going to have a directional mount that is not on a ball joint. So this goes up and down. So when you put it in the ground, you can't like easily move it without ripping up the ground. Then if you use spikes or something like that, you know, once you tear up the ground, it doesn't have that same hold it did. You can adjust this, which is different than the other one. And I guess I'd say that's probably like a, a benefit. Your pathway is not going to change. So you have this focus focused on your pathway and then based on the directional, the direction of the sun, and you can move the, uh, the solar power to get the most amount of sun. Looks wise, this one is much nicer in my opinion. That's ugly. But, I mean, it could be awesome. It could, it could work great. We'll, we'll toss away the fact that it's ugly if, uh, if it works well. This is uh, up to 2200 lumens, it has 216 LED lights, apparently a 360 degree coverage range. So, awesome. Um, one thing that's gonna differ from the other ones are, those are gonna be put in the ground and these are gonna 
tie to a tree, I mean not tie to, you're gonna screw it to a tree. So this one's pretty cool in the fact that the side lights can be moved around, which now I understand why it says 360 degrees of coverage, because directional is going in all directions. Um, additionally, we have the, if you wanna have that straight, so you're pointing towards like your driveway, your carport, whatever, this will be in place like that. So then this will be facing the glorious sun and these will be able to be moved and pointed in the direction that you need. This little bar right here is gonna be the, uh, the actual uh, identification of some movement. I only showed you one, there's two of everything. We're gonna put them out and we'll get a full thing of sunlight. Tomorrow night we'll, uh, we'll give it a test and see which one's brighter. After trying out the different lights, we went with two of our favorites being, you can angle them different sideways uh, to try and catch the solar light better. It also has uh, little holes on the side so you can screw this into the side here. Um, or screwed into a tree or uh, the top of a roof you're pointing downward uh, we found that these are pretty cool for walkways and for um, kind of like a spotlight on the house covered a good 300 foot stretch and uh, that was just like a directional light make sure you could walk at nighttime I think we used eight or ten of them on that on that pathway this one the only difference that, that I didn't like as much was just the visibility of it it's just big and clunky in comparison. The shimmering lights, we like those a lot. Glass and coating's gonna make it so that the copper wire is frayed or broken as easily um, in the elements. We like them a lot and uh, ordered actually half a dozen more. Uh, so we'll have a bunch of trees covered with these. And the TBI Pro, this thing's legit. It is extremely bright and it's a motion sensor. That's kind of like the best part. We just put this on the side of our house just that as you're walking by, you get out of your car, you get a nice bright light, things are um, not popping up at you. That's it from Split Our Farm. See you next week.